Many students walk by the statue of Rennie T. Wells on campus and think he's just a man who may have made a big contribution in Murray State, but don't know quite who he is. Others know all that he truly means to this campus and want to make sure his story is told. Rennie T. Wells is credited with being the founder of Murray Normal School, which later became Murray State University. It's really unusual at a public institution that you'll find a single person being credited with being the founder. Usually it's a whole bunch of people, but he was the person who set about the school to get the Murray Normal College, which is a teacher's college, located in Murray versus five other cities in our region that were contending to get the normal school located there. Professor Qualls wanted the story of Rennie T. Wells to be documented so everyone can know Which what he meant to this campus. Through the process, more information on Wells became available, the giving the documentary insight on the man he was and why he was credited as the founder of Murray State. One day I was uh, in Dr. Bob Lottie's office and he said, have you seen Bob Valentine going around campus dressed up with Rennie T. Wells and, and doing his, uh, his speeches? And I said, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen some video. He goes, he would be great to be in a documentary. You could probably put together a few pictures, get some video of him, knock this thing out in a couple of weeks. Six months later, I had a film. So we kind of amplified it and went beyond simply just putting together a little video and tried to make something that's more biographical. He, well, I had University, an interest in Rennie T. Wells already because I walked by his statue large. every day and you start wondering who this guy is. And, and he was an attorney. And so he had a wonderful law practice. I'm he Kevin became Wells, a member of the Kentucky legislature. And it was really and his legal ability and legal knowledge that man. put him in the position to be able to create um, the application that was successful to get the normal the school present. here. And so I love stories where lawyers are the, the hero. With the help from the spring 2013 JMC 455 class in the Journalism and Mass Communications program, this documentary of Rennie T. Wells was created and can now be used to educate racers throughout the years on the history of our university. Now the statue of Rennie T. Wells can not only be seen, but understood. The, we, everything was shot on campus, and, and that was not originally contemplated, that we shot everything on campus. We had different locations in mind, but budget constraints and also some constraints on my health at the time meant let's do everything on campus as closely as, as we can. And so uh, most of the images used are archival images that are stored, stored in Pogue Library. Um, they were already scanned and available to me. Someone had the foresight to use good medium format film cameras back in the early 20s taking these photographs. So I had great resolution to work with. Uh, we shot it film style. We used fixed lenses instead of zoom lenses. We shot it just like it's a film camera. We used a Canon C300, which has super resolution, much beyond high definition television. And one of the reasons we did that is so that the footage that we shot would stand the test of time. So that another future documentary filmmaker may look at this footage and have the same wonderful experience I did of being grateful that someone shot high resolution images back in the 1920s. Maybe in the year 2050, somebody's gonna say, I'm so glad he shot that at 5K. I like the experience it gave my student crew. My capstone class shot it. I had to depend upon them. And they mostly got it right. There's a few things that I wish were a little different, but uh, they, they had a great learning experience. They got to get out and work with the jib and work with some technology that's not usually available to people. Um, we did the same thing that the movie houses do. We went to a rental facility and said, I want that camera, that lens, I want this, this, and that. And they got that experience of being able, from beginning to end, to see how I wrote the script, how the script spoke to what the budget was going to be, uh, to how to acquire the technology to achieve the ends that you're going to have to have, and then how to, how to make adjustments when things don't go as planned and you have to say, okay, we got to shoot it this way instead of that. So I think it gave them a very, very real world experience on how to produce something from beginning to end. 